Welcome everyone to the shopping cart. My name is Joe, and in today's cart we have the Sunto Elementum Tarot Watch. Today I'll be doing an unboxing and a quick review on this product. At the end of this video, I'll give you my thoughts and impressions whether or not if this product is worth spending your money on or keeping your money in the bank. Let's get started. Okay, let's get started here. Now, from first impressions, uh, the box looks pretty plain. They have the logo on the top, uh, nothing fancy on the sides. On the bottom, they have uh, the barcode. Uh, looks like just a normal, standard uh, cardboard box. But uh, let's get this opened up and see what's inside. And it looks like we have a quick guide booklet. Um, looks like pretty thick uh, manual here that's uh, going to show a lot of information on the watch, on how to use it. Um, it's pretty nice graphics they have on here. Nice illustration showing the watch, the buttons. It's a lot of reading material. Uh, I probably will, probably won't be reading through this. Uh, most of it's gonna be self-explanatory on how to use this watch. Let's go ahead and put this off to the side. And then we're introduced with another box inside. This is like, it looks like a little bit better box than the outside sleeve box that was uh, presented. They have a nice little logo that's embossed on the bottom. And we'll go ahead and get this opened up and see what the shoe looks like. It comes with a nice little black microfiber cloth to clean your watch with. Well, from first impressions, this watch actually looks pretty nice. Well, let's go ahead and take it out of the box here and see what it looks like. The numbers uh, look pretty nice. As you can see on the top there, it shows the feet. I doubt we're 1,722 feet, but uh, I know you can probably calibrate that. Uh, the buttons seem to be nice and chunky. This is a pretty fairly big watch. Um, just from looking at this, I know that it's made out of stainless steel 316L. The top is a sapphire crystal glass. It will not scratch. And the other specs on this watch, I believe, this is a silicone band. Case material, strap material is silicone. The case material is actually stainless steel. Um, we're also looking at, it has an altimeter, uh, a barometric pressure, a 3D compass, and it does log your last eight ascends, descends, the max, and the altitude. So that's not too bad. Now we can scroll through everything on the first button here. It looks like it's gonna have a stop, stopwatch on it and it keeps the, uh, the, the altitude that's on the top. And you go right back to your normal time. Now if you press the top button and hold it, this will bring you into settings. Now you can change the feet um, depending on where you are. You can recalibrate that so that way it's more accurate, especially if you're doing any hiking or climbing or anything like that. Uh, you can readjust that later on. All you gotta do is just spin the wheel on that, on the, on the button. Here's the alarm. And again, all you gotta do is twist it up or down. It should be able to turn on or off. And then scroll through the menu, just press it again. And it gives you the option for 12 hour or 24 hour time, military time. You press it again, you can go ahead and change the hours, the minutes, and the seconds. Now we have the date. You can adjust for month and day. So you, right there's the 729, or you can switch it over to day and the month. So it'll be the 29th of July. But I'll probably just keep it on the month and date is the most commonly used format. And then just keep on pressing it and scrolls through everything. And then you can change the feet into meters. You just twist it and it adjusts it up to meters if you want, instead of feet. You press again and you're back home. And on the bottom is supposed to be your uh, compass. And it's supposed to be calibrated to uh, north, west, south. So, I mean, if you want to change the, the compass, you can. You just got to hold it down and readjust it. Other than that, there's really not a whole lot to this watch. Um, I thought it would have more options and, and more features to this thing. And really, it's just a basic uh, altimeter and uh, barometric uh, pressure watch. Nothing too special or too fancy, I'm noticing on this. 
Uh, it is a pretty fairly hefty watch. It is a big watch. Um, it definitely is not on the smaller side. So if, if the ladies are going to be wearing this, it's definitely going to be sticking out on your wrist if you're a smaller woman. Uh, for guys, I think it's perfect size for guys. I have small wrists, and it doesn't look too big on my wrist, but again, it is a big watch. I do like big watches. It feels better on my wrist for some reason, but it, for, it does have a pretty good hefty weight to it. The silicone band feels really high quality. I have to give them that. It has a lot of glare on it. I know it has a backlight on this thing, so at the middle of night, I'm going to go ahead and we'll shut off the light here. That way I'll press this on. You just got to hold it for a couple seconds and the backlight comes on so it illuminates uh, all the digits and the numbers. You can see it a little more clearly uh, when it's darker outside. But overall, it, it doesn't feel too bad on the wrist, but for the most part, it seems like a pretty decent watch. But I'll go ahead and I'm going to give you my thoughts and whether or not this watch is worth spending your money on. Okay. All right, let's go through the pros and cons on this watch. First, let's start with the pros. I found a couple pros on this that it was a well-made watch and has a very solid body for the price on this watch. It also comes with a sapphire crystal glass. So that's a plus in my books for this kind of watch. Now, I did find some cons on this was that for the price point, it had very little features on this. It didn't give you too many options. And also the display was very hard to see unless you use the backlight, which you have to keep on pressing and holding in order for the backlight to come on. So that's definitely a con for me. So the question is, do I recommend this product? Absolutely not. I would go ahead and tell you guys, do not spend your money on this because for more bang for the buck, you can find a better watch that has more options and better quality to this watch. So go ahead and save your money. That's my opinion. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and better informed on your decision to spend or save your money. Till next time. Thank you for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and subscribe to see more product reviews in the future. This has been Reviews from the Shopping Cart. My name is Joe. Till next time, keep shopping.